Mm. Every, every single time. Mmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know I've lost over 100 pounds by making healthier versions of some of my favorite foods. So today, I wanna to share with you three salads that you can make throughout the summer and even throughout the entire year because they are super, super delicious. Now, I love pasta salad, but of course, when you're trying to lose weight or you're just trying to live a, a low-carb lifestyle, pasta is usually one of the first things that you like cut out but you can do like zoodles, you can do cauliflower. So the first salad that I'm gonna make is a chicken pesto pasta salad. I'm gonna use a high protein, low carb pasta, which I can leave linked in the description below just so you know what I'm using. Um, and we're basically gonna toss everything into a bowl, okay? I'm using chicken breasts. You could literally use rotisserie chicken. You could use any chicken you have on hand, but you toss in your pasta, okay? Then you're just gonna toss in your chicken. We have some cherry tomatoes. You can do them whole, but I did them half just because, I don't know, sometimes like a full tomato is just like a bit too much. And then um, these are little mozzarella pearls. They're like little teeny tiny mozzarella. It's fresh mozzarella. So I feel like in this case, the fresh mozzarella is worth it because it definitely like takes it up a notch and it also adds to the texture because you know, fresh mozzarella has a different texture. And then mozzarella, we all know, doesn't have like a ton of flavor. So that's where the parm comes into play, okay? So a little bit of Parmesan cheese and we're gonna do a little salt and pepper. And then I just got this, it's already pre-made pesto. Of course you can make it yourself from scratch, but this one tastes really good and um, it just makes it so much easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right in. Um, and then some lemon juice. Beautiful, and then give this a toss and then top it with some fresh basil. And this is a perfect summer salad. Super, super high in protein, super flavorful. It's gonna keep you nice and satiated and still keep you on track. All right guys, so if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm really into holistic health. I love super clean ingredients. I try to incorporate them into my body and into my daily life as much as I can. So I don't know if you've seen these all over TikTok. They've been literally going viral. So I definitely looked into it. This is like an anti-bloat supplement. So let's just say you are out and about, you go and eat kind of like pig out vibes, okay? Where you're just like, OMG, what did I do? I just ate so much. You feel super uncomfortable. You know where you get that discomfort of just like, uh, go away? Okay, so that's why these were created. So this, you take about two to three as soon as you finish and within the hour, you will feel like that relief. An array uses natural digestive enzymes like ginger root and peppermint. It actually helps speed up the breakdown and it prevents that uncomfortable feeling you get when you have like a heavy meal, especially when you're eating things that naturally bloat you like broccoli. That's usually something that makes me feel terrible and the array really, really helps. I do have a discount code that I will leave linked in the description below. It'll get you 15% off on your first order. And they're even giving like the little travel packs so you can take on the go if you're traveling, if you're gonna, you know, gonna go to a party or something, you don't wanna carry your whole container. Anti-bloat, it's a ray. Okay, so let's move on to our next salad. Okay, so the next salad is one of my favorites. This is kind of like my little specialty. It is uh, my famous burrata salad. It's like a berry burrata salad. So it's a perfect combination of like sweet and savory. And it's just like, I'm telling you, this salad right here is one you have to make. It pairs well with anything, like even just to eat it alone, but you can serve it with chicken, with steak, with anything as an appetizer. Trust me, trust me, trust me, you wanna make this one, okay? So typically you can do um, arugula. I'm just gonna do some spring mix so it can feel more like a salad. So I feel like arugula, I don't know, I don't know. Arugula, I like arugula, but I, like, I feel like I like spring mix a little better. So we're gonna do some spring mix as the base layer. 
and then go in with the berries. So you can use, I have strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. You could literally use your favorite berries of choice if there are peaches in season, like these are just a little lower in sugar, but you could use anything you want for this. I think peaches, nectarines, that would be really nice, but I always, always, always make it with blackberries and um, red raspberries, okay? So then just kind of go in here and sprinkle them. Right, it looks really nice. See how it's already looking like just so fresh and pretty? So typically this salad goes great with heirloom tomatoes. This morning they didn't have them available. You could use mini heirlooms, you can use cherry tomatoes, you could omit them, but I think like the tomatoes definitely like a key piece because just think of like when you go to like a fancy French restaurant or something like that, they always do like an heirloom tomato with a burrata and then you get the balsamic. So um, that's definitely kind of like the inspo here. These are a bit big, so we're gonna do just gonna half them and just toss a few in. But yeah, if you can find heirloom, then the heirloom is, has more of like a savory taste. I feel like it just goes perfect with burrata. So for this, you do wanna use burrata cheese, okay? This is like the key ingredient for this recipe. So find the burrata. Um, it is a little more expensive than your traditional like cheddar or mozzarella but um, for this recipe, it's worth it. Trust me, it, it will be like one of your favorite recipes. Okay, so since this is kind of more of a single serving, I'm just gonna do one. This is also like a beautiful salad for holidays, like if you wanna do Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for a birthday, and you just kind of lay it out across the table. You do like the arugula, then the berries, and then you put the cheese, the burrata cheese balls in, be you know, in between that. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful, beautiful presentation and the taste is phenomenal. So now you could kind of mix everything up and create like a little balsamic dressing, but what I usually do is drizzle everything and it always turns out amazing. So this is just some balsamic, so balsamic vinegar, okay? And um, as you can tell, all of this is super low carb, naturally, okay? So I do a little balsamic vinegar and then um, the olive oil, is also just gives it a really nice uh, mouth feel. It's cause it's like, a, you're basically almost just drizzling on the ingredients for a dressing. So a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, same, just drizzle. And then we're gonna do a little salt and pepper. And finally, you can drizzle. So remember, the balsamic is acidic, it's vinegar. So to balance it all out, we need like a touch of sweetness. So you can do a balsamic glaze, you can do a honey, you can do literally any drizzle of like something sweet. I'm gonna do a little sugar-free honey just to keep this low carb across the board. But um, again, just something sweet is what you want to balance it out. Now, you can do a little bit of toppings, like if you want some extra crunch. I had some pistachios just to kind of throw on top, but sure, let's go ahead and add them. So then just toss in some pistachios, give it that little crunch. Look at that, isn't that such a beautiful salad? I'm telling you, this is a salad that you will make for just ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. Um, another thing you can do is toast like some little pieces of either gluten-free toast or like a low carb bread, throw it into the oven until it gets like really, really crispy. And then just, I mean, I'm telling you all together. It is just the perfect, perfect salad. So this one right here is definitely one of my favorite, but all of them are super, super delicious. Now let's move on to our, our last salad. So this one is a loaded potato salad, but of course we're making it low carb. So instead of potatoes, we're gonna do cauliflower. So I'm using roasted cauliflower just because I feel like when you roast cauliflower, it just gives it a better texture. I feel like a lot of people always think like um, really negatively about cauliflower. And I'm telling you like cauliflower is such a great substitute um, for pasta, for potatoes. So in reality, I'm telling you, if you roast it, it's delicious. If you, um, even with rice, I make great collie rice and stuff like that. So anyway, this is the first ingredient going in. So I have some here and then I have the last of it. 
back here in the um, air fryer. And we're just gonna throw that batch right in, okay? And this here is just a great salad. Again, think spring, summer, barbecue, like this is the perfect salad for that, okay? So this is gonna cool off for a few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressing here. So we're gonna use a little bit of mayo. Okay, so mayo, then we have some sour cream. I'm using a little light sour cream just because I feel like the mayo is already rich. And we're gonna do a little bit of that right in. And then we have some yellow mustard. And then you can use a sweetener. I'm gonna use some sugar-free honey, but you could literally use um, your sweetener of choice. And then we're just gonna do a little pinch of salt and pepper. And this here is gonna be our little dressing, okay? For the salad, um, you can use vinegar, like an apple cider vinegar. You can use pickle juice. Um, it does require like a little tank to kind of like balance out the taste. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of pickle juice. You could even add some pickles. I mean, you know, it just really depends on what you like in your potato salad. We have our dressing, we have this. So now let's go ahead and add in some of our toppings. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do a little bit of red onion. That's kind of just to taste, you know? If you love it, add more. If you don't, um, a little bit of green onion. Do some bacon. I'm gonna save some to top it at the end, but I wanna add in our bacon. Then we have some sharp cheddar cheese. Now we're just gonna pour our dressing right on top. And that's really the extent of making like a low carb, loaded potato salad. And this here, again, goes well with anything that you would typically eat a loaded baked potato salad. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now I'm just gonna plate them to make them look nice and pretty and then I'm gonna show you the final product. All right, so I plated them. Look at how pretty they look. I just wanted to show you how nice and presentable these salads are. You could make them all three, like at the same time for a party, Avi, because this would be great. Doesn't it feel like spring, summer, fresh, light? I feel like as the, the weather starts getting a little warmer, this is what I'm craving. Like I want cold, fresh salads. So all three of them are absolutely delicious. If you love potato salad, boom, here you go. This is a loaded potato salad, but you can make like a traditional potato salad. Just substitute the cauliflower for the potatoes, add in your, your olives, your egg, your everything that you typically add. And I'm telling you, it tastes so close to the real deal. Like you won't miss the potatoes. And then this one, we just sub the regular pasta for a high protein pasta. So this one's pretty much like as is. Um, super flavorful, super high in protein. And then this little guy right here has my heart. This is like my go-to right here. This is like my, my little famous salad that I always make. It's like a wow, this is like a wowing salad. If, you, if you're gonna do a little date, you're like, I'm gonna cook for my hubby, or like you have girlfriends coming over and you just want it to look really beautiful. This one right here is it. And not only it looks really beautiful and presentable, but it's so delicious. So since I'm just, I'm just hyping it up so much, we're gonna taste it. A little burrata. I'll do a little salad. And then we're gonna do blackberry, which right now I think blackberries are in season because they are so, so sweet. And then a little bit of the dressing and everything. Cheers. Mm. Every, every single time. Mmm, so, so delicious. They're all good, I've already tried them. I make these all the time. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below for you. If you like this video, you like these recipes, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to go hit the um, bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video. If you guys have friends, family members that are trying to lose some weight, that are also just trying to make healthier choices in their life, I now have an ebook that um, I put together it's what's helped me lose about 25 pounds in the last six months. So if you know someone, please share that with them. That's gonna be linked in the description below as well. But also share my channel, share these recipes. They could be super, super helpful for them. But thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.